genomic imprinting. Now, what is imprinting? The word imprinting means, the word imprinting, it means that inheritable, inheritable preferential inheritable preferential expression preferential expression of genes from either parent genes from either parent inheritable inheritable preferential expression of genes from either parent is genomic imprinting now this is very unique what is happening here is look it's a imprinting technique what is happening in imprinting is it is completely defined defying the rule of mendel mendel said that one gene will have two alleles one allele will come from father and one will come from mother but what is this saying it's completely different it's completely different what is this saying is either of the paternal or maternal genes will express not both of them let's see how this how does it happen okay genomic imprinting so what happens in genomic imprinting is let's first see the types it can be maternal imprinting maternal imprinting or can be paternal imprinting maternal or paternal imprinting so in maternal imprinting what will happen in maternal imprinting there will be silencing of silencing of maternal chromosome maternal chromosome or the maternal genes paternal may there is silencing of paternal genes paternal genes paternal genes this whole thing can be explained by the mechanism is called as mechanism is called as epigenetics epigenetics basically what is epigenetics epigenetics means epigenetics means it refers to inheritable changes in DNA without change in sequence. Okay, the inheritable changes in DNA without change in sequence is epigenetics. For the point, they are inheritable changes. They are inheritable changes in DNA. But remember, there is no change in sequence without change in sequence without change in sequence let's see what are the changes what are these changes the three changes 3h first change is hypermethylation of a gene hypermethylation of a gene second change is hypo hypo acetylation acetylation and the third change is third change is the histone modification histone modification so basically these three h can change the dna but will not change the sequence now what does it mean please remember suppose there is a sequence say a T C and the sequence has say has a missense mutation to TTC. This can cause a disease. This is called as mutation because the A has changed to T. What if the ATC is still remaining ATC? The sequence is same but is still causing a disease. It is still ATC, it is still causing the disease. surprising isn't it look what is happening here is in the first example first example when the atc has become ttc this is causing a disease 
this is understandable but why will a atc same sequence without any change will cause a disease this is not understood by the normal genetical phenomenon nobody understood this and hence was named as epigenetics genetics epigenetics over genetics that means could not be understood and this is how it was named epigenetics which could not be understood by the normal genetic <coughs> genetical phenomenon let's understand so what is happening because of this 3h when the 3h occurs to the gene the gene will not express it is called as epigenetics okay let's now see what are the main examples the main examples of the G disease are prader villi syndrome and angel man syndrome the two more beckwith wideman syndrome beckwith wideman syndrome and silver russell syndrome silver russell syndrome okay padavelli syndrome angel man syndrome beckwith wideman syndrome and the silver russell syndrome <coughs> silver russell syndrome Now, among them we will see the mechanism of the first two okay padavelli and the angel man to understand this what we'll do is we'll first draw the chromosome number 15 in the cell suppose this is the cell in which there is chromosome number 15 this is one chromosome and this is other chromosome okay now suppose one of the chromosome is paternal chromosome paternal p and one is maternal m chromosome now you see both of the chromosome will have an allele what happens is in the paternal chromosome there are in paternal chromosome there is padavelli gene and there is angel man gene okay padavelli gene and the angel man gene let's call this as this green one as this green one is suppose prader villi gene and this red one is suppose angel man gene okay similarly this is also prader villi gene and this is angel man gene angel man gene okay now what happens is there occurs a unusual silencing of these chromosome in every person even normal person what happens is out of these two genes normally what happens normally normally what happens out of these two chromosome there is in the paternal chromosome from the pattern this is maternal in the pattern chromosome there is silencing of the angel man gene so what you see is only the active padavelli gene and in the maternal chromosome you see only active angel man gene active angel man gene okay so from the pattern chromosome paternal chromosome you see active padavelli gene and from the maternal chromosome you see active angel man gene this is the normal phenomenon so every person will have this after this normal phenomenon what happens next next okay what happens next is suppose if there occurs deletion or in fact a second pathological silencing deletion or silencing of paternal chromosome so what will happen you see this here 
from the parental chromosome which gene was active parental villi the moment the parental chromosome is getting silenced or deleted the this parental villi gene will not come to the generation whichever gene will not come to generation is the disease for example in this example the parental villi gene will not come because the parental villi gene will not come and hence the patient will suffer from parental villi syndrome okay so if this deletion or silencing of parental chromosome look what will happen the parental villi gene will not come so it's only what this only active angel man there is no parental villi and therefore when this there no parental villi gene they will suffer from parental villi syndrome this will be parental villi syndrome okay now on the opposite side suppose there is deletion or silencing of maternal chromosome maternal chromosome then what happens this only you see if there is a deletion or silencing on the maternal chromosome maternal chromosome so what is only active only from the father's chromosome and what is active only the parental villi gene not the angel man gene so again which are chromosome or gene does not come is a disease so when there is no angel man gene this will be angel man syndrome this will be angel man syndrome okay parental villi syndrome and the angel man syndrome how to remember a very simple way to remember is p for paternal p for parental villi m for maternal m is in angel man p for paternal p for parental villi m for maternal m for angel man the some clinical features which you can remember clinically the parental villi syndrome patients are you can simply remember they are chote and mote that means short stature and they are obese okay so the parental villi syndrome these patients apart from having mental retardation apart from having mental retardation they have short stature and they are obese short stature and they are obese they also have hypogonadism hypogonadism better best way to remember is chote and mote hypogonadism in contrast to this the angelman syndrome these patients are you can remember m a s t must m is again mental retardation a is ataxia s is scissors and t is a t of happy puppets they are referred to as happy puppets the t of the happy puppets they are referred to as happy puppets because they laugh when they listen to music laugh when they listen to music okay so this is about the parental villi and the angel man syndrome now it is often asked out of this deletion and silencing which is a more common mechanism answer is deletion is more common than silencing remember this okay one more thing that you should remember is there is something called as uniparental disomy uni parental disomy the uniparental disomy means both the chromosome are coming from the same parent okay both chromosome are coming from same parent so what does it mean you see here now suppose in this example suppose this example if you see the chromosomes and suppose both of the chromosomes here are coming from father only so if both of the chromosome basically come from father so which chromosome is not coming mother so which gene is not coming mother is giving us active angel man gene therefore which gene is not coming angel man and hence the syndrome will be angel man syndrome that means if both the chromosome are coming from father it is called as paternal disomy 
the patient will have Angelman syndrome. Let's take its opposite. Suppose both the chromosome come from mother. This mother is coming. Both of them are mothers. So which is not coming? Obviously father. And what is father gas giving us? A the Prader-Willi gene. So when there is no Prader-Willi gene, what syndrome? Prader-Willi syndrome. We'll just write it. The uniparental disomy, if there is paternal disomy, paternal disomy, there will be angel man syndrome. If there is maternal disomy, it is prader willi syndrome, prader willi syndrome, simple. Okay, so remember in disomy, you do not use the mnemonic P for P and M for M, it just reverses, it just reverses there. Okay, it just reverses there. This is about the uniparental disomy. So, just remember all the three mechanisms that is deletion, silencing, and disomy can cause it. Among them, the most common mechanism is the most common mechanism is deletion. Okay, most common mechanism here is deletion.